from the mighty Blind, Blind Illusion Bay Area Underground Legends, man. Now, this is great. You're playing a little uh, special intimate show just for your friends here tonight. That's right, man. Whoever wanted to show up was allowed to show up, you know? That's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, yeah, yeah. This is definitely, definitely very special, something you don't get to do very often. That's right, man. That's right. I love this place, too. Lennon is always a great, great times here, you know? going on in the world of Blind Illusion currently? We're going to Europe in a few days. We're going to play the Keep It True Festival wow. with Winterhawk and Saracen. And uh, actually, the first day will be the headliners are Flotsam and Jetsam, I believe. So we're really looking forward to that. It's somewhere near Stuttgart uh, in Germany. And then we're playing in uh, Tilburg at the uh, Little Devil. And we played there last year, so we have friends there. That's going to be great. Hello, Mario. And uh, then also we'll be playing in Belgium at the Negasonic. And that's going to be really cool. That'll be my daughter's birthday. Oh, great. And uh, so there you go, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so She's cool. the one who wrote the lyrics to the Ice Age. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, dig that. Yeah. <laughs> Got, got any new music in the works? Um, yeah, we do, as a matter of fact. Uh, mostly, some, uh, Straight as the Crowbar Flies is new, but we haven't had time to work on those because we're supporting the album, you know, on this tour, because it was re-released and remastered and whatnot. So uh, what we intend to do is, as soon as we come back, we're going to re-record Metamorphosis of a Monster, Vengeance is Mine, and The Ice Age. We'll record those three first, and then we'll get back in and do Race with the Wizard, and uh, uh, um, Cosmic Nautical Tour de Force, hopefully, and Iron Ox, and Chinese Water Torture, and that should be an album right there. <laughs> not, yeah, just a bass player, not just a bassist, but the greatest photographer in the world. Fuck yeah. yeah. Yeah, you played with you guys for a while, didn't you, Harold? Yeah, I did, uh, for a couple, three years or so. Yeah. Yep. Playing it was, hell. It was Harold that brought me back, really, you know? I mean, because I was doing the Demon Master stuff with a couple of guys, and we were doing some cool stuff, but it was really like stoner rock, you know? Boner and rock? Yeah, boner rock, stoner rock. <laughs> and not to say it was bad or anything, it just wasn't thrash metal or hippie thrash. Yeah. So I ran into Harold. Where? Well, I had just had my tooth pulled, right? I was dying. I had the, the uppers where the, the infection was up to here. And I went into the uh, hospital at Highland Hospital, and I told them, I said, look, I understand that you're not supposed to operate on anyone if they're infected, but here's the deal. I'm going to die if you don't in about three hours because the infection is up to here. So I signed a waiver saying if I died on the operating table that they weren't in, there was no problem. They weren't, it wasn't their fault. So they, 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 they're pulling the tooth, and it came right out. And boom, they start screaming, oh, my God, don't breathe, don't breathe. And they're, they're covering all this. They said that was the most toxic they'd ever seen anything. They were, they were amazed that I was still alive. And I ran into Harold O. And he says, hey, have you seen the book? You know, what book? He's all, a murderer in the front row. Front against the bag in the foot upon the stage. Bang your head against the yeah. stage. Metal takes his price. The pictorial on the Bay Area thrash scene. And I said, well, well, do you have a copy of it? I mean, right now I'm kind of busy looking for a young girl to chew my food for me. <laughs> I just walk into. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, okay, well, I was going to probably bring you in here, Doug. It's, it's so good to see you play. How do you like playing with Blind Illusion? Oh, it's, it's hilarious. It's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's hard to explain. It's, it's like metal meets the Grateful Dead. Yeah. Or so I don't even know thrash. what. It's, it, it's yeah. crazy. It's fun as hell because yeah, you can play yeah. a lot of different styles. Yeah. It's not just all, only metal. You can like actually stretch out and play calm stuff and really melodic stuff. It's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. It's shit definitely a fusion.
the uh, new bass player dude? He fucking, he's amazing, man. There he is. Here's Tom. Oh, here's Tom. Oh, Who, me? What are you talking about, Willis? What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, how'd, you, how'd you get hooked up with Blind Illusion? How did I hook up with Blind Illusion? Blind Whoa. Yeah, Doug, Doug Percy's like, do you know who I am? And I was like, no. And he's like, well, shit, that's no fun. I hit him he, was in all in, my he was in traffic on the bridge. How did Doug get hooked up with Blind Illusion? Oh, because of him. He, 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 like, threw, it was a Facebook message with the wizard on it. And I said, whoa, that's cool. That's interesting. That's all Phrygian, and it's an E and F. Phrygian. And it was pretty killer. I mean, I go, I would just thought, whoa, I could do something there. And it just went crazy after that. So I came out and guested one show at the Knockout on that one song. came down I mean it's kind of a secret right now it's starting to slowly get out that we're doing this and it's a lot of fun there's a lot of a lot of wild guitar power techniques and you know Mark's actually singing really really decently it's it's all right I really you know I'm, I'm trying to make sure he takes care of his voice it's all right I mean it's fun anyway thanks for coming out right, good seeing you Doug all right all right rock on all right. blind illusion all right we're out of here <laughs>